Hey people, this is me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about here as far as that goes, you know, when it comes to the economy, the weather, and all this sort of stuff happening here in California, I don't know if it's going to change anything when it comes to the gubernatorial election this year. You know, as far as, you know, Governor Gavin Newsom, you know, there. But my whole opinion on it is, you know, there could be a possibility he might not get reelected because of you know, some of the other shenanigans that he had done, you know, throughout that time. But considering how the recall election was unsuccessful last year, and so I doubt that would pretty much would change anything, you know? Because a lot of people there that would rather have him than somebody with an R next to their name, you know, because of Trump and all, and how much certain people hate Trump irrationally, you know, for a lot of things, you know, and that's just how it is. Yeah. But, considering the other implications when it comes to, um, this year's uh, gubernatorial election and all that, you know, there's probably a lot more than just, you know, the environment and the economy and all of that at stake, you know. But considering the other aspect of it is that. Gavin Newsom is pretty much termed out after this year's gubernatorial election, so there's going to be somebody else that could probably could run for governor. But depending on how things are going to be in 2026, you know, as far as that goes, you know, whether or not we have another Democratic governor, or is it just going to be, like, the last of the Democrat governors, at least for the time being, you know? So, because of the fact that the last governor that we had that was a Republican was Arnold, you know? And he was there for quite a bit, and and I think there were certain things that happened, you know, because of him and, you know, when it came to, like, marriage equality and all of that. You know, if he hadn't vetoed, you know, those marriage equality bills, you know, we would have been, like, the second state to have marriage equality. And if we had that earlier, you know, people would have gotten used to the whole thing a lot earlier. You know what I mean? Because I remember at one point, you know, when they talked about that back in Massachusetts, that there was more growing acceptance towards, you know, marriage equality there than that state after, like, four years of that sort. You know what I mean? So... That is one of the bigger implications of all of that. But considering the other uh, aspect of the um, whole thing here is like, you know, where California has been and then where we're heading at that point. You know, with another term of Newsom as a governor. But he might not even 
last that long as far as the second term because you know because I'm always keep thinking he's gonna get tapped as Kamala Harris is running me for 2024 because that's more like the logical point where he could run as Harris is running me or just to challenge Harris in name only of that sort you know but I don't even know if that would really work out in the end yeah because I kind of have a feeling that that's going to be unsuccessful for for uh, Newsom and Harris kind of ticket in 2024 yeah but I think of it is that when it comes to this sort of thing it's gonna be a repeat of like what happened you know with um, Carter and then the Democrats had never got a, a, a Democrat president until like 12 years later I mean that could be like the worst case scenario for the Democrats is losing 2024 to Trump and then 2028 could be get, um, Ron DeSantis 2032 Ron DeSantis you know and then not being able to get a, another Democrat president until 20, 2036 at that point if, if they're lucky you know but that also depends on a lot of other things here. Yeah. And it was just recently that Hillary decided to throw in the towel. Yeah. So that's just something that it remains to be seen. So anyways, talk to you guys later.